Hello. This week, we will answer a question about non-count and mass nouns. Dear Learning English, thank you so much for your excellent programs. How do we know how to use the singular and plural of some nouns, like effort versus efforts? Both show in people's writing. For some nouns, it is very hard to know if they should be used in the singular or plural, like experience or faculty. Thank you, Lily. Dear Lily, thank you for your question. These words are in a group called mass or non-count nouns. These nouns are not counted as individual things. They present problems even for native speakers of English sometimes. While there are many non-count and mass nouns, we will provide some general rules to help you use them. Non-count and mass nouns do not have a plural form. For example, sand or milk would be difficult to count. Particles of sand are too small and numerous, and milk is a liquid. Mass nouns or non-count nouns can describe abstract concepts, like advice. In some cases, faculty is a collective noun, not a mass noun. Collective nouns describe many individuals who form a group. For example, the faculty is made up of individual teachers. However, if you hear the word faculties, it often is describing a person's powers of the body or mind. The teacher aimed to develop the student's faculties of critical thought. Non-count nouns are always singular. There are no plural forms of non-count nouns. Sometimes nouns can be both mass and count nouns. Many people use effort and experience as mass nouns while describing a concept, but they can become plural when talking about repeating or multiple attempts, efforts, or individual experiences. Her boss noticed her efforts on the project over the past few weeks. Repeating or multiple attempts. The vacation package offers many different experiences, like snorkeling, swimming in the ocean, or hiking in the rainforest. Another example of a noun that can be a mass or count noun is paper. The teacher collected the students' final papers. Count noun referring to the students' individual pieces of writing. I need to buy some paper for the printer. Mass noun. Since non-count nouns cannot be counted, numbers are not used with them. We need to add other words if we want to talk about an amount of a non-count noun. We use words like types, slices, or pieces. Kelly always has four types of cheese in her refrigerator. The teacher handed the student three pieces of paper to take his test on. I eat two slices of bread in the morning. Lastly, we do not use the indefinite articles a or an with non-count or mass nouns. We do use the definite article the. The rising water flooded the town. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.